Colby Sharp, fifth grade teacher. Welcome to my channel where I try to help kids fall in love with reading. Today we're going to be talking about five amazing picture books that you might want to read aloud to kids at any time of the year. These are five amazing picture book biographies that feature amazing women that many of you probably hadn't heard of. I'm not sure that I'd heard of any of these women before reading these amazing picture books. Obviously, we don't want to just read these books during Women's History Month, but it is a good place to start so that we can celebrate amazing women all throughout the entire year. Let's kick it off with Go To Boldly Go, uh, how Nichelle Nichols and Star Star Trek helped advance civil rights. Not a Star Trek fan? To be honest, not. I had no idea who Nichelle Nichol, uh, Nichols was. I read this book. Holy smokes. She was so talented. Uh, an amazing human being doing awesome stuff on the screen and on the stage. And in Star Trek, she wasn't real happy, though, with her role on Star Trek. And then, I learned all this in this book. Then she was, she was thinking about quitting. And she was talking with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And he told her how important it is to have um, a black woman starring on such an important show that so many people are watching. Even went as far to tell her that it is the only show that Dr. King and Coretta Scott King allowed their, their daughters to stay up and watch on television. It's so interesting. I love reading this book aloud to my fifth graders. I think that you would love reading it aloud to the students you serve as well. And the art is so cool. So check it out to boldly go. Number two, uh, a take charge girl blazes a trail to Congress. This is about this amazing woman, Jeanette Rankin, who I also had not heard of, but it is how she finds her way and fights her way and makes a way and a path to Congress even at a time where women could not vote in all the states and how she was not cool with that and how she just was not going to accept that and she just fought and fought and fought and fought for women and had such a profound, gigantic, important role in the history of this world. And I love this book. And the art, once again, is just so darn fantastic. Uh, I read this book to my fifth graders and it's fun to talk about. And it's just wild to think that women have only been able to vote in this country for a little over 100 years. It uh, puts things in perspective. And we've been, we learn about in my fifth grade, well, and probably more than my fifth grade, but we learn about the history of this country, the United States, and this land through um, like the Revolutionary War. So we've a lot of our conversations about why things are the way they are and why rules don't change are because of money and power. And it's interesting for them to see that even long after the time that we study in, in our curriculum. Josephine and her dishwashing machine. Kate Hannigan is telling lots of amazing stories. So if you want to just go on your favorite book buying website or your favorite bookstore and just ask for all the Kate Hannigan books, you are in for a treat. Josephine and her dish washing machine. So Josephine, you know, she had all these dishes and they were getting cracked and, and chipped and she didn't really want to do that anymore. Like she just was wanting to live life. Uh, her father and grandfather both did amazing things like building uh, bridges and like, helping invent steamboats and build steamboats. So she wanted some, to do something with water and she ended up building like the first dishwasher that like worked and she had a patent on it. And people were like, you can't run this company, you're a woman. And she's like, well, I will. And she did. Awesome, awesome. Uh, rock. Rosetta Rock, Roll, Rosetta Roll, presenting Sister Rosetta Tharp, the godmother of rock and roll. Really knew very little, I really knew pretty much nothing about Ro Sister Rosetta Tharp before reading this book. Uh, and it, she's just, she she's just doesn't mess around. Grew up in the South, eventually moved to Chicago when her mother we wanted to become a preacher. And from the time she was very little, she just got continued to grow up. She was just playing music, whether it's at home in in the, in Arkansas in the South to in the church at different places in Chicago. Eventually, basically just rocked and rolled and laid the foundation for, for rock and roll music. So many people just believe, so many like famous musicians 
household names believe that she was or have named her as an influence, including Johnny Cash at his Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction. And after she passed away, she was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Uh, an awesome book. And after I read this, I went to Spotify and was like jamming to Sister Rosetta Tharp's music. It was really fun. So I made doing the dishes. <laughs> My dishwasher doesn't work. That made doing the dishes a whole lot more fun. So those four books, Rock, Rosetta, Rock, Josephine and Her Dishwashing Machine, A Take Charge Girl, and To Boldly Go. Those are all 2023 books. Uh, I'm going to end with a 2021 book because I haven't seen enough people talk about this. The Leaf Detective, How Margaret Lohman Uncovered Secrets in the Rainforest. This woman was obsessed with leaves and trees. Her whole life, did not like to be in school, even talked about how she hated to be called out in school. My fifth grade was like, mm-hmm. Um, and she grew up and she wanted to study the rainforest, but there was no way to like go up and like study it. So she like threw like this thi like rock type thing around the branch, pulled herself up, eventually leading to like, like blimps, like putting rafts on top of a canopy so that they can get samples and study. It's just amazing. And I was telling my fifth graders when we were reading this, like, find something that you love in life as much as Margaret Lohman loves leaves, leaves and the rainforest, because that is just what you want to do with your time during the day. If you're going to work, make it something you love and are passionate about. And I don't think that my fifth graders would ever think about some of these jobs and roles as being possible but it's through these great picture books that they can and they can see themselves in this world doing amazing things another thing with the leaf detective go to youtube and search her name margaret woman because there's a really cool video the kids can like see the blimp and like the, the rafts and the way that they go on top of the canopy it's awesome so i'll put um I'll try to remember to put a list of all of these books in the description of this video. So if you want to add any to your to read list, you can share awesome books about women with kids all year, every year, not just during Women's History Month. Let me know in the comments if you have any favorites that I should be reading because I'm always looking for awesome books to add to my playbook. My name is Colby Sharp. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel so we can talk about more awesome books that will help your readers and mine fall in love with reading. Thanks again for tuning in. Hope you have an awesome-tastic day.